Elections in Canada are starting to feel like semi-regular physical exams. They're something we have to go through every couple of years. Knowing they're good for us doesn't make them any less unpleasant. And we might feel some slight discomfort. No wonder Canadians have become so apathetic about the electoral process, which is a shame, really, because all over the world people are taking to the streets, dying even, so that they too might someday have democratic elections to take for granted. What we need is to change our attitudes about federal elections, put more party into party politics. And so, as we prepare to turn our heads and cough, here are 10 completely non-partisan tips on how to take the pain out of campaign and turn an election into an elect fun. Number one, when pollsters call you at home and interrupt your dinner or your bi-monthly pinochle tournament, answer every question by responding, Sheila Cops. Number two, to get into the spirit of the 2011 election, why not imagine your own personal attack ads as you go about your day-to-day -day life? Optometrist Philippe Roberge is examining Ross Murray's eyes and asking him if the letters are clearer with this lens or this one. A supposedly trained professional asking the patient to make the decision. Is this true science or just plain guesswork? Dr. Pierre Roberge, we have our eye on you. Number three. You see all those election posters cluttering up the streets? All those headshots of smiling candidates? Picture in your mind what's happening off camera to make them smile so. Number four. When confronted by your local candidate at, say, a potluck supper or geriatric breakdancing festival, say, I will vote for you if you come to my house and clean the hair out of my shower drain. Number five. Televised debate drinking game. One shot any time one of the leaders uses the word integrity or prosperity. Three shots if anyone says, bite me. A certificate for a back rub from me if anyone says, Sheila Cops. Number six. Whenever a co-worker tries to steer the conversation to serious issues such as Canada's military role overseas or the global implications of Canada's shift to the right, interrupt by saying, yes, yes, all very well and good, but what about Charlie Sheen? In fact, any time anyone says issues, just say Gesundheit. Number seven. I will vote for you if you can fit these 15 jumbo marshmallows in your mouth. Number eight. Give superhero names to the party leaders. Captain Action Plan. The Visitor. The Stash. Decepticon. Green Tantrum. Number nine. I will vote for you if, in your first speech in the House of Commons, you incorporate the words smite thee. Number ten. Make up election-based novelty rap songs. I'm talking to you voters, think it over, think that voter, ask yourself if you have thought enough about voting for Ignati, who's sleeping with the enemy, for Quebecois and NDP, when pushing finally comes to shovel, vote for none of the above. In the end, don't think of this spring's vote as an expensive, empty exercise that will ultimately result in very little significant change in this country. Think of it as getting a clean bill of democratic health. Plus, if you're good, you'll get a lollipop at the end. Paid for with your tax dollars. <laughs>